Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable color correction in your Epson printers settings. So if you want to adjust some different color correction options such as red eye correction, as well as a couple other options we'll explore as well. In today's tutorial, we're going to do that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start off by opening up the search menu, type in control panel. Best result should come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. Set your view by in the top right to large icons. And then you want to select devices and printers. Select the printers and scanners button. And then select your Epson printer from this list. And then go down and select printing preferences. Select the more options tab. And now you want to locate something that says underneath color correction. You can either select automatic color correction or custom. And then you can select either image options, which will give you further customization. So it can edge smoothing issues as well as fixing red eye or emphasizing thin lines. So giving a little more definition to the picture. You can also adjust different color universal print settings. So if you want to print text in black for color in text, you have a few different options here as well as emphasizing text as well. So definitely some nice options in there to explore. And if you want underneath advanced, you could even adjust the controls even further in here. And you can see a preview of what it would look like in the image above, which is definitely a nice feature, very feature rich, I would say, in terms of the different color modes they offer you here. And then once you've made your selections in different gamma options, color modes, etc., you would select OK to save that. And that's pretty much it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.